Hello and welcome. I'm going to start running a little script I have created here, and I'm going to talk about it. So, uh, my my wife's parents, my in-laws, uh, they they had an issue a couple weeks ago. Of course, they didn't call me. Where uh, I hate to make her sound bad, my my mother-in-law was on her computer, clicked on a link on Facebook that led to one of those fake pop-up your computer is infected with a virus site. Call this number. She called the number downloaded the software, gave them access to her computer. Luckily, she stopped when they asked for a credit card number and said, I need to talk to my husband. But then she proceeded to wait three hours till he got home. And they run their own business, and this was on their company computer. And she left the scammers logged in for the three hours, <laughs> apparently. Ugh. My father-in-law came home, luckily told her, you know, we're not giving these people money, it's a scam. Which is good he learned that because he fell for the same thing like a year, year and a half ago. I get a call from him asking me, telling me that he got this pop-up. And if he asks, if I give them access to my computer, how do I know they can't come in later and do stuff? And I said to him, I said, you don't. I go, once someone has access to your computer, they can do, it only takes a couple seconds for them to set up, you know, where they can come back in later on. And he goes, what if I change my password? I said, you didn't give them your password. Well, first of all, I said, don't call them. He goes, oh, I already called them. I said, oh, no, it's it's a, it, don't do that. And he's like, well, they're actually already working on my computer. He's, he had already paid them, given them his credit card number, which is really all these people are after. They're, for the most part, they just want your money. They're not looking to mess up your computer. They're going to make it look like they're doing stuff, run the tree command, all that sort of stuff. They're, they're, in most cases, not going to do. They, they might look at your personal files. So some guy over in India looks at your photos and stuff. And that's not a jab. You know, someone's going to complain that I said that. But a majority of these scammers are from India. That's just a fact. I'm not saying anything about the, the Indian people or their country. Just that a lot of these scammers are from there. Um, anyway, he had already, already given them access, already given them this credit card number. And now he's concerned that they're going to get in later. And, I, and he said, can't I just change my password to make sure they go back in? I go, you didn't give them your password, did you? He goes, no. I go, well, if they got in without your password this time, why do you think they need your password next time? Um, yeah, so luckily he seems to have learned, and hopefully my mother-in-law learned, and not to harp on her. I mean, they're, I don't, let me put it this way. Hopefully she's learned. I love my mother-in-law. She's very sweet. Um. And I hope she doesn't watch this video, which she probably won't ever. Um, and I might have told this story before, but I'm pretty sure, me and my wife are pretty sure, my mother-in-law doesn't know how to hang up her phone. <laughs> because my wife constantly gets voicemails from her that are her saying, hey, give me a call, I'll talk to you later. And then it stays on where you can hear her talk in the background for, it's it's three minutes long, whatever the cutoff time is. It's usually like three, three and a half minutes, four minutes, something like that. It's just her, you can tell the phone's like on the counter in her pocket, you know. We, we don't listen to what she's saying, but you can see that it goes out for that long. But after a couple of seconds, you realize, oh, she, she didn't hang up. And so my wife talks to my mother-in-law on the phone one day and says, okay, bye. And then she sits there and realizes her mother-in-law doesn't hang up the phone. And she goes, Mom, Mom, she starts yelling on the phone. She goes, oh, hi, uh, I didn't realize you were still there. She goes, my wife goes, Mom, do you know how to hang up your phone? And my mother-in-law gets embarrassed very easily, and she's very, you know, apologetic about stuff. And she's like, oh, I, she didn't say that she didn't, but she's like, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm doing something wrong. She's like, no, there's a red, and she's trying to tell her, and she's just, so embarrassed and saying sorry and she still doesn't and that was like two years ago and she still will leave these three minute long voicemails that are nothing anyway that's just a little background on these people anyway that i i i love when i see these fake pop-ups um because they're so ridiculous and uh but i feel bad for people who fall for them because both my mother-in-law and my father-in-law said oh when you get them you can't close them and yeah you can they're in the web browser uh, these ones they're talking about and and they have fake little X's, but you can still close the window. Not, there's there's no way that it can prevent you from doing that. Um, so, I uh, recently was watching some videos on YouTube of a guy who messes with these scammers, and he mentioned a website. Uh, let me uh, split my screen here. Actually, let's split it the other way. 
and I'll open up this script I wrote that I just ran on the one side of the screen there. Um, <clears throat> and in here is a simple little script. So the website is scammer.info. It's a forum where people can post information about different types of scammers. <clears throat> and um, in there, there was a section called fake pop-ups. And it's where people post links to these fake pop-ups. Uh, mostly it's that and, and other information about these fake pop-ups. Just to one of the people, you know, and stuff like that. And so I wrote this script, which goes to that fake pop-up section of this scammer info website, grabs the uh, URL for each post, and then it pipes that in and loops through each one, and it looks for any URLs people have posted. So not all of them are going to be the pop-up sites, um, but it will go through the first couple, the most recent posts, and give you the URLs. Um, and as you can see, some of these, I found interesting was this, this, um, Fire RTC is a website where you can do uh, SIP voiceover uh, SIP or voiceover IP uh, calls through a web page. You can create an account there, a free account. They have paid accounts, but you can sample it, and it's pretty cool because they ask for an email. But I don't even think they check the email. If they did, you just use you know a fake email. But then you can make phone calls and I guess text too. I didn't even try that um, and record it. And a lot of these guys will post the recordings of them messing with these scammers. So that's what these are. And here's a YouTube one that's probably someone posting them messing with it. Some, some of these are them posting uh, when they're messing with the scammers. Other ones where if you see the word technology in there or support, here, let's, let's just uh, go to one, okay? Um, so I'll go to like this Firefox support here. And uh, right here, you can see that it this one isn't one of the pop-up ones, but it's the scammer's website that they send you to after uh, they scam you. They're, they're, after they you call them, they're like, oh yeah, here's our website. We're a legit company. We can look at a few of these other ones. Uh, so like this one or this one. Let's see one that says support, Epson support. And they're just fake support sites to make their companies seem legit. And they all want to chat with you. Um, and unfortunately today, there's not very too many uh, great examples here. Um, but let's go ahead and I will make this full screen. Uh, look at one. If it's just a funny looking name like this one where it's just random stuff, especially if it says Mac or Microsoft or Windows in the name, uh, that's going to be one of these pop-up sites. So this is the worst virus of all of malicious software is, is they, they're apparently installed Mac OS on my Linux machine. <laughs> But I love the, uh, let me mute that, but the way they have them talk. And uh, yeah, look how small your, my mouse cursor gets here. Let me make this full screen here. And of course, if you try to click this X, it, 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 now it's going full screen because your web browser can't go full screen without a click. And once you click, it, it's, it's user interaction. And it can go full screen. So you click that, it's like, oh, no. And um, I wish I had one that I was messing with the other day because it was the, I can see it being difficult for some people to getting out of it because when you clicked on it full screen, it actually put a um, the website top look like a Windows bar, so you could try to click that X, and it kept on wanting to pop up a um, a Chrome extension uh, site. Uh, but here it's like if I keep clicking this, nothing's happening. If I hit Escape, it goes out of full screen mode. You know, if I click that again, it goes back into full screen mode. I just hit Escape, but apparently some people don't know that. And uh, this one actually does a pretty good job of staying in full screen mode. The Windows one, it did that, and then like, if I clicked anywhere on the page, it kept on opening a new tab and going out of full screen mode, which just ruins the whole effect. Um, and yeah, this whole thing, and the Windows one with the uh, pop-up, the, the cursor, it was a real pop-up. This is a fake pop-up here, I think. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell. Um, uh, but the other one was a, a real pop-up, but you couldn't click it because it made this fake mouse cursor so where you thought you were clicking on it. Because if I tried to close the window like that, the tab like that, like this, um, it wouldn't close because the, there was a real pop-up there. Let me uh, reopen the glass close tab. So it was a little different. So it's like to actually click on that, I had to come off the screen and slowly go down to click on it, close that. But if I just... Uh, clicked prevent additional uh, dialogs from opening, which they faked here. They actually faked that so that you think that you click that already, because this is not a real pop-up from my browser. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not a browser pop-up. It's just some HTML uh, model, or however you say it, uh, pop-up. 
uh, where the other one was using real pop-up, so I couldn't close the tab without closing that, so I had to click prevent opening, but it was hard to click because it was a fake mouse. So that one I could see how it's hard to get out, but it's so obvious that it's fake. And then they would say, oh yeah, you restart your computer, and it would just start up again. And, and I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense because it's just a website. And then I realized, oh, they probably have their web browser to open up the last page they had open, so they'd restart the computer, open the web browser, and it'd pop up again. Um, yeah, so... I'm just talking here. I know most of you know this. It's great how I didn't even know that you could do this where they have this fake mouse cursor. It comes out of the actual HTML window. It's, uh, it looks like I'm up here. It looks like I'm clicking it, but I'm not. I'm actually clicking on the page. It gets full screen. But if I keep going, so it's like here. Oh, you think I'm clicking, but if I keep going up, there's my real mouse cursor. And I don't know. To me and probably most of my viewers, it's like so obvious that this is a scam. Well, anyone, well, hopefully, uh, I guess it's not obvious to everyone that it's a scam, but to us, it's obviously a scam, and it should be obvious how to get out of that. I mean, even if I'm here, uh, I hit Control-W, and it's going to want to close it, and it says, you want to leave, and I say, yeah, let's leave. Um, but a lot of people don't know that, but on a Windows machine, Alt-F4 will close your browser, but I guess closing your browser wouldn't be good, because you reopen it, and it will open that page again. Um, but it's just sad that people get taken in by this, and actually, that guy I was watching on YouTube, I, I, he, he does some great videos, and he actually um, sometimes gets access to the scammer's computer because they leave things open when he lets them connect to him. And he's gotten people's contact information, they have previous contact, and he'll call them. And a lot of people go, oh, I know it was a scam. I don't know why they called the people then. But uh, they were on their contact list. But some people go, oh, well, I don't know. Uh, I had a problem with my computer. I called them and they fixed it. So, you know, I paid the money, but they fixed the problem. But they were the problem. Um, anyway, I wanted to just, main point of this video, besides just babbling on, is I wanted to share this script uh, that I created. So, if you go to my website and you click on software, you can go to notes. And in here, type in scam. And right here, uh, you can see this get URL of scam pop-up sites. This is the script that I just ran over here. Or you can just go to scammer.info and look through their forums there. Uh, but I like to just very quickly be able to grab that sort of stuff. Um, actually, I'm kind of curious what this top one is here, this uh, zippy share file. Let's see what that opens up. Oh, uh oh, it wants access to send me notifications. You definitely don't want to click that on a site like this because then they can send you notifications repeatedly. So let's block that. That might be something that they click, but why would you? I don't know. You need to read stuff. This one isn't too bad. They, they wanted to give you notifications, but it's like, yeah, this was easy. Um, but these are fun. And, uh, and it'd be fun to like send these to people to mess with them. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd be afraid, obviously, I wouldn't send it an email because then my, also my email account will start getting blocked. And I uh, wouldn't want to post it on Facebook because then my account might get blocked for posting spam. Uh, but maybe text it to a friend and just see what they say. But um, anyway, that's my script. Very simple. Loops through the main page on that site, or at least the pop-up section of that site. Then pipes that in and grabs all the URLs that are posted. So, uh, interesting site. Check out the script. Uh, you can like again go to my website and click on scripts and search for that or here's the direct link I'll try to remember to put that in the description of the video but if not it's up on pastebin I do thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day